there's five units here in the front on the 3R, and then there's, two, there's actually unknown in the back, but uh, tax records show seven units, so. Seven. Yeah, so you could go either way. You could probably downsize if you wanted. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Single family homes have an exemption on seismic upgrading, so if someone oh. went that direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's um, probably the direction they go. Yeah, and based on the historical value of the building, I think the planning department would be agreeable. Uh -huh. We had an architect that went down and stood in line and talked to them about that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, when he bought this building, all the ceilings were dropped. Yeah. Um, this was actually covered up in an archway. Yeah. Uh, pretty much throughout, it was dropped to the picture rail. Oh, right. Okay. So at some point, they pulled the knob and tube, you know, through the uh, through the lower part, you know, pushed it back through. Uh -huh. All these beautiful rosettes were hidden underneath. There's actually walls up here where he bought it, and these pocket doors uh, look like they belong there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's still a pocket door. Um, so in terms of the, um, the, the structural reinforcement, uh -huh. um, what usually goes into to doing that with, with a single family home? I mean, obviously you're not going to put pair for bracing around there, are you? Well, single families have an exemption. It's okay to have a brick foundation. Okay. Uh, if you chose to do seismic upgrading, you'd get an engineer over. Uh, we had the seller and somebody else got a bid. What we got came in around eighty thousand. Okay. Uh, as a start place. What, what, yeah. What, what, I guess what is typically involved in that? I mean, is it? It's uh, nothing that would be intrusive. Uh, it would be from outside. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So, and then you said that the brick is just like a veneer on the outside? There, no, it's actual brick. There's actual brick behind the lath and plaster. Oh. And then there's facade the brick, <laughs> decorative facade brick on top of that. Okay. This guy did the Mills building and a couple other buildings in town. He was quite a prominent builder yeah. uh, from the East Coast. So, uh, you know, everything they did was just top notch. Yeah, I mean, it really looks nice. Yeah, it's amazing. It's an amazing home. It really is. And it looks like, I don't know if it was after the Depression or World War One, but they just kind of slapped up walls and created units. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, yeah. that's a nice new old limit. They don't make that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <That's for sure. laughs> they sure don't. <laughs> okay. Probably the best place is to go upstairs. Yeah, go upstairs because okay. then it all starts connecting back here and you kind of lose a sense of where you're at. Um, so just out of curiosity, um, how long has this been on the market, or how long has he been sort of considering he's been to sell it? Trying, he's been interested off and on uh, for a couple of years. He had a really difficult time with the tenants that were here, uh -huh. and um, just, it just has been a disaster for him. So he bought another building on South Van Ness, and most recently we were in contract with a single family in Oakland. Uh, he fancied living here. So um, I'm, I gather you show this to a lot of people. Yeah. And it's, is it just maybe overwhelming for them, or is it? It's complicated. And what we found during open houses um, is people don't understand. Yeah. Uh, they don't understand what it takes to renovate the property, um, or the LSAC implications don't seem to register. So we found ourselves being more like a docent at a history museum, you know? <laughs> so uh, yeah, no, I it also takes a pretty strong cash position, and a lot of people don't, you know, have that position. Uh, you know, we want to get a loan on it, and we can't. The seller has to carry. Uh, and that was one of the things when he said he wanted to sell it the last time. He said, well, then you have to carry the financing. Yeah. Because we were tied up for six months, probably, with the group that wanted to buy it. They all live here together, and they could not get financing. Really? Just got, yeah. 
Uh, at the end of the day, I think it probably could have, but it, it went from 25% up to about 45 down, and, and one of the partners had a bigger cash position, so it kind of made their whole relationship a little skewed. Mm. So, yeah. so this is a good bird's eye of the property. And uh, this is a building on Lucky, and there's two units there, one that runs this way and then one that runs back. And this is just kind of a tool shed underneath. And then there's four car parking that fronts Lucky. Right. Yeah. Um, this down here was probably an add-on at some point, um, but it's hard to tell where they stopped and started because yeah. the brick is different. Right, it's, it's definitely different. Scared off now. <laughs> That's what happens to other people. Have to do. It is so. It is very random. It like is. The, it yeah. Is so it's so. Yeah. This we think the door was here before, and then it went straight back. You've got a skylight here. So and then this is a bathroom now, and there's also like a rosette up in there. You can. But he started taking this stuff out. He, he just he couldn't keep his hands off of it. And finally, he was going to start demoing kitchens, and we were just stop. Just if you want to sell it, stop. And he, yeah. 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 Wow, this is quite. It's so bizarre. Sean. It is. I, I would want to. I don't know. Bathroom. All the bathrooms are closets, and the bathrooms are closets, and the closets yeah. are bathrooms. This is an extraordinary use of the Bill. It's very yeah. sunny. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is it, what, what is that called? Pepper Hill? Uh, Bernal. Bernal. Yeah. Oh, I've never heard of that one. I know. No, no, no. Wow. Learn something every day. <laughs> so, um, how, how is how's crime in, in this neighborhood? Well, it's the mission, it's a dense urban environment. It's uh, one of these neighborhoods that's slowly gentrifying, but it's seen a lot of movement. Um, the park across the street used to be weeds and broken glass and stuff, and they turned it into a soccer field. Yeah. They did yeah. a renovation, and it's done amazing things to the neighborhood. Okay. There's a constant influx of people. People use Garfield Pool. They go swimming. Wow. Yeah, there's a big, I think it's 30 foot uh, pool there. Oh, that's interesting. So now, in terms of the um, the electrical system, heating system, things like that, um, they're all kind of partitioned. I mean, in terms of um, there's you know, you've got meters. six meters. So, out there. In, like in terms of, of making this back to a to a one or to a single uh -huh. family home, I mean, it, does that involve uh, just something at the box? Yeah, you could downsize your meters, or you could continue to use six meters and get six PG&E bills, you right. know? <laughs> Hi. Hi, how are you? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, the heating systems, they all have their own little, this, this shares a forced air system, these two units. Uh, everyone else has little freestanding heaters, you know, that are yeah, um, so. yeah, vented through the fireplaces. So there's two units over there? Uh-huh.
people who really need that structure so they know what walls we're allowed to rip down and what walls we shouldn't. Because I just want to get rid of well, them. Well, right. Well, we, we need an idea of the beams and the ceiling. I guess when the, when the roof is replaced, you get a really good idea of yeah, you know, where you the main columns are. Yeah, you can see, you can probably see up in a couple of these places. I mean, there's areas where it doesn't take that long for the people who know that it's done to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they know exactly <laughs> where it is. There's a hole, I think, is to do it. Most of the walls, I think, are pretty, uh, some of them obviously were put up, but I think most of these are original. Yeah. This wall, I think, has been added. This one here. Mm. And this was probably open right here. They didn't do a lot of construction in the Trinity. You know, they just kind of put up doors. Yeah, this was probably, you know, this is, they took it away. So we each, there's several water heaters uh -huh. around? Uh -huh. I think everyone has their own water heater. Downstairs, definitely some dips and buckles and things like that on the top mm -hmm. floor. Have you not got any um, reports done yet? No, there's a diverse report that's a couple years old. A was a diverse inspection. What does that mean? Um, they do like termite, the contractor, they did a termite inspection. Mm -hmm. Now they, there's about 50,000 in dry hot issues, mm -hmm. but you know, you typically you find that in stairs and decks and railings and things like that. So it's, um, most people, if they're interested, I mean, they obviously know they're going to have to do work. Some of the buckling and the floors down here, it's all pretty plumb. It's water related. Mm -hmm. Even leaks. F from just from the leaks in the ceiling? Or is there um, I think like downstairs, there's probably a toilet that leaked, and there's a buckle down in here where the roof warped. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This, this roof, I think, has been on, I don't know, 15 years maybe. It's, it's been a minute since a newer type of roof. We can torch it now. So did, you, did, you, did you say that you can't obviously make units until 10 years down the line? No, three of them you can rent now. Oh, really? Yeah, you can rent the, uh, this one in the front, the one above it, and the one in the middle. Because they were vacant at the time of the Ellis. So there's a two-year... Oh, and that happened two years. Yeah. Oh, okay. And clearly they need some renovations. So, and I'm 
themselves in is the room those the two rooms were given? Yeah, they were vacant when he did and the you upset. still have to wait two years and he's done it. Uh -huh. But the two year mark was November of last year. So oh. it's been two years. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they are two people to them. These two, I would imagine, registered at the Red Board. These guys back here were 30 something, pretty upper being mobile, uh, younger guys. I don't think they're interested in coming back, but I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. To offer it to whoever was. The five year mark, yeah. You have to offer it to them as cost of living. To find the secret passageway. If they were really <laughs> angry. Yes, this way was yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. So so did, did the staff right here. Um, I, I don't think so. A little rant. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't know that you want it back. But that's, you know. And this is a big unit. It goes down right here. It actually has access to the garage. all the ceilings were dropped and it was very restrictive mm -hmm. so people that had engaged the property were interested in turning it more you know back into the way it was so he went ahead and demoed out and I think he couldn't stand not knowing what was underneath the ceilings and stuff mm -hmm. but uh, this goes clear back Saw movies just going back there. So is that an electric garage? That would be fun. Yeah. Oh, got space. And these share a meter and a heating system. Unfortunately, you wear a helmet. Yes, <laughs> as good fortune would have it. <laughs> Thing that's whole. 
want to move order in Lucky so you can preserve the courtyard. No, I agree. I think yeah. we should start over. They're starting over? Because, you know, we were going to have here in the other building, we were going to build that second apartment Love. building right next to it. I, this is a second, whole second apartment building with a garage again and cooler thing up here that makes sense. And then you can rent it because it's brand new, right? Mm, uh, maybe. <laughs> well, that's how it works, but maybe. If you were to rip this whole side down and build a new one, you could rent it, right? No. You really? Yeah. Uh. -uh. <laughs> the LS Act is a cloud on the title, so I mean, okay. you maybe consult an attorney and come up with something clever, but um, you know, once you've done the LS, it's done. It's, okay. You know, right. um, you could go back to these guys and see if they wanted to move back in. I don't think they will, but yeah, exactly. I mean, you do you want to take that risk? Why would you? I mean, if the rent is really low. Well, it was like 800 that day. It wasn't very much. Yeah. I mean, for the condition of it, 800, that's pretty good. I mean, let's, uh, you know. Let's get them, let's get them back. Come on. Ten-year mark, you're supposed to be home free. Okay. Yeah. And this tool shit just goes clear on back. Yeah. Well, this would be my work studio. This is where I would make all the cabinetry and stuff. Back up and That's the building's done. Oh, Consolation, oh, yeah, R13. Ooh. <laughs> it's like I. It's a little. Uh, uh, without some sort of like a knob. Okay, wait there. We found a new exit. Hold on, hold on, let's go. It's just no longer like this was his fantasy house. Yeah. And now he's, yeah. He's he has so a home in Oakland and he's working on other projects. But yeah, his, you know, his, uh, he just had a terrible time. It was very emotional and, oh. yeah, can't see. Okay. Well, you know, because 
Oh, you know, when you start doing that kind of stuff, you know, you know, you have to be careful. Yeah, you know, it, it does seem like a fairy tale going wrong, you know? Which is how I like it. Well, you know, people's uh, unfortunate situations often turn into people opportunities for other people. Exactly. People do stupid things. Well, I don't know. That this side? I don't like it. Well, I think the, I the think structure of it. It doesn't have a lot of upside. Get it's rid of potential it. potential rentals here. Yeah. I say start new. Well, okay. I, I think you could probably use the, uh, the underlying structure of it and, and perhaps build something on top of it. Yeah, could, um, so the question is, could you, you have a, could you get rid of all this and build another a, a whole new house? I mean, because this is two lots, and I think is, this right. yeah. is. That actually might be interesting. Um, so, you know, when you had some money down the road, that would kind of be yeah. cool. I, f I feel like preserving that courtyard would be would be a great thing. It's nice, yeah. So, you know, whatever structure would be built would just block this out, basically. And then you know, come up halfway on this to support that wall. But yeah, of course we'd have to work around the tree. <laughs> and turn some of the dead stuff off. But is that is this like an acorn? No, what is this? That is definitely. Oh. What is that? Weird. There's no such thing as an acorn tree, but that is odd. <laughs> There's oak trees. Oak trees. Uh, so, like, could this set be a second lot? Could you like knock no. that out and make it? No, because of the historic, the facade is considered historic. It's a, really? One of but the even only if you kept this building, you couldn't uh -uh. still build here. Really? It's the, it, we thought it was the only brick Italian in San Francisco, but there's actually one more in Pacific Heights. <laughs> so it's got historic significance to the city, okay. and it's on the list. Okay. So you have you can't do anything to the front. What do they call really? it? Really? Uh, it's because of the, the arched windows and the period in which it was built. Oh. It's an Italianate Victorian. And they're okay. all redwood out here. And this is brick. And this guy is kind of famous for his construction with a couple of the buildings in town. Okay. So you can't, you know, do anything. Mm -hmm. I had one guy come one time and he was going to put sliders in and open this. And I didn't say anything, but I, I don't think the city's going to let you do it. It's a double wide lot, so it is a big lot. Yeah. I don't even know if they'll let you do anything with this fence. Although you might be able to down the street, they just add one in front that's taller. <laughs> <laughs> keeps the bad guys out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keeps the bad guys out. <laughs> bad guys but can't climb fences. You know, this has done an amazing. Uh, hi. Hi. Amazing. Turn of the neighborhood. So, like, to me, this would be the kitchen area. Okay, so you can have that nice I thing. Mean, yeah, I, I feel like this would be... Uh, we have some... Some pipes up the top here. And reserve. 
asking if they want to have a baby. But there is no reason. But I don't know. This is like a gazillion times more work than in Connecticut, just to let you oh, know. Oh, yeah, by far. By far. And there's probably some things that we wouldn't be able to do. You know? Mm -hmm. um, but then, then, then again, you got the fireplace, right? And you got this. Vertical wall, so it's like you really wouldn't be able to take that much out in order to create a kitchen. So you like your kitchen would have to be kind of like over in this region. Well, and then that would, and you take this wall out here. You take this wall out and kind of make this whole room, but All it has right. like a thing in it. I had it's like a giant U. You know, there, there's going to be a lot of situations where you'd have to, like, rewrap the piping. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah. That would be it. <laughs> that would be it. It's a big project. It's a very big project. This is, this is, this is, yeah. This might even be beyond me in terms of scope. I, I think I would really need a helper. Someone who was beefy and in the financing of it as well. Mm. Yeah, I mean, really you just start by ripping everything out. That's really the only, that's only way to do it. Yeah, that's what I would do. I mean, it's really sad because you'd be losing a lot of like period-ish stuff, but Harder and more expensive to to bring the house back to where it was. You know, but then again, if it's on a historical registry, maybe the city would help with some sort of. Yeah, probably not. It's not overly Victorian. <gasps> overly? It's nice. I like these it, little bitty it, 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 things. It, yeah, it's nice. So, um, the, yeah. pe the people that tried to get financing, uh -huh. they were doing it um, as a single family? Um, you know, I'm not sure how they were approaching the financing. They were going to downsize to three units. Okay. But it's on tax records as seven units, so any lender's going to look at that. So it's a commercial loan, and the reason their down payment kept going up was that on a commercial loan, there's a certain expectation of income. Right. There's no income here. Yeah. So, and then in the meantime, he's demoed out stuff like this. So a lender wants to see functioning kitchens and baths. Mm -hmm. So you have some units no income, and you've got some units that don't have functional mm -hmm. kitchens and baths. So that's why he has to carry the financing. Gotcha. And, and those are his best terms? Yes, because he has a first at 470 and he's oh, got the transfer tax. Gotcha. And you said he was not um, considering someone buying his mortgage from him? He's got something called a Rosa loan, and I think his rate just went up to 11%, so it's not a very attractive loan. Oh, definitely not. Yeah. Definitely not. So he collects money and invests or pools of investors. So he even got into it with kind of a quasi hard money loan. I think he was at like eight and a half, but it just adjusted. Um, so I think he's gonna probably end up paying that off. And um, he's, gonna, he's gonna get construction on one other building. I think his goal is to get rid of it because it's a high rate. <laughs> yeah. So. And he couldn't really wrap. He, she's a local lender too. I think she would know so, that the property is sold. Basically, the back of the building is what you cannot, the back of the building and the adjacent space is what you cannot rent out. Uh -huh. And you can only do that. Yeah. Somebody was living here? Yes. <laughs> well, wasn't, I mean, he came 
Anyhow, all the seedlings were dropped in the fish rail dropped. So he took all the dropped seedlings out. Uh, this was actually a wall, but he knew that George thought there were pocket doors buried in here. So he took out the, there's a closet here, and a closet here. So this is kind of mid. Yeah, and then he actually just continued handling it out, and he just said, stop, quit. You know, you can't do that. We're selling it, we're selling it, we're not, you know. Yeah, and, and you know, plus you're walking through level, and you're just going to just say, And at the time, was it being rented? Yeah. Oh, that's right, because it obviously was Yeah, going, so he like, tried to buy out tenants. Um, this one, I think, was vacant when he bought it, and then I think these tenants moved voluntarily. So I okay. Before, but it, it was fully rented at the time of his purchase? No, it wasn't no. fully rented. Okay, so three, three out of five? Uh, let's see, this one probably, I think this one had the two, the four units. Oh, so only one. One was being rented, and things were looking a lot better. He bought it for nine hundred at the yeah, height of the estate yeah. funding. Yeah, he would I'd ideally oh. rather have bought them out if yeah. they but he just didn't have it. Okay. They wouldn't let him clean up pools. <laughs> I know. And it got just really, yeah. really, you know, it was really daunting. You could, it was difficult to show. And, one of the women upstairs, she had little fishing lines she cast all around, and she carried a pathway, and you couldn't open the curtains, and it, plus it was full of seeds and stuff. Um, couldn't take pictures. You could only like go around this pathway. <laughs> I like this a lot. I like this little thing that's cute. It's a little light thing. Some sort of like wrap around balcony, balcony yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. if you're buying this as single family, you know, where we're the ones in control, we don't want to have to follow the rent per unit rules of the city. You know, the city can be very just not in our faces. Yeah. 
So it's kind of like what we had in the back of the house, but without the cage stuff. we're done with the video, so let's, let's go take some pictures.